how delicious it is. Ah. Let's try it. Hello, good day everyone, and today we will be doing boche or sesame balls. The Philippines is very famous, especially in a restaurant. They are like a Chinese restaurant, Chow King. So today is we are having lockdown, oh, no. and I know your kids there are missing eating this one, guys. So I'll be preparing it for you, and besides, I'll be doing it for my cousin, Jennifer Sogoy. I know you want to do it perfectly so now I'm filming it for you and for everyone there so we start with the ingredients so for the ingredients we need sweet potato and I pre-cooked it already we also need white sugar but of course because I'm avoiding like too much sweet so I will not be using this one we are doing it at home you can use white sugar or you can even use brown sugar or whatever sugar you have at home we also need melted butter but anyway guys if there is no butter at home so don't be bothered because your sesame balls will be equally delicious and we also need extra water if you need it so for the filling those are just the ingredients that we need for our sesame balls for our butcher the ingredients we just need very few ingredients and we need two cups of glutinous flour so we just need two cups one more to go okay so we have there two cups of glutinous flour then we need one fourth cup of white sugar but of course I will not be using it again because I am trying to avoid like too much sweetness in my food one and a half cup warm water make sure guys that you have to use warm water because this is the reason why your sesame balls will not pop up the moment you fry it because there is a problem when you use like just room temperature water because when you fry it it will pop up and then we don't want our sesame balls to look dirty because the filling will just scattered all around so it would be better, it's recommended that we have to use warm water. Then I've got here sesame seeds and you will know how to use it later. And of course for frying we need oil and in my case I'm using natural coconut oil for frying. So you can use whatever oil you have at home, you can use vegetable oil or like any, any kind of oil that you can buy from the market. So let's start doing it guys. Let's do the filling now and you see I have here like sweet potato. I use uh, the yellow. Actually you can also use there is like orange sweet potato, like there is white, there is purple. But what I have now is yellow and shout out to my head. This is Rachani Manwanasi for giving me this sweet potato that I have now. So in it, I have to add my melted butter. There it is. And I have to use a little bit of water. I don't have the pot potato masher, so I have to use my spoon. Oh, oh my god, it's no. not a spoon. It's a small ladle. So what we have to do is just mash this one. Okay, just keep mashing it. So if you need more water, then you can just keep adding more water in here, but be sure that it would not be too wet. So try to control the amount of water that you will be using. So our feeling now is good already, and actually guys, if you want it more delicious, then you can add like some ingredients that you want, like crust peanut if you want use chocolate chips it could also be so whatever you want to make your bochi more delicious you can do it at home so don't worry as long as your kids and you will be enjoying eating it so that what matters most let's get ready now and make the sesame balls into it we have to pour a little bit just don't put it on because we need to control 
maybe your mixture will be too wet oh. so just give it a mix and there is another trick guys why your sesame balls won't pop up and i will be teaching you this one i have here like my sweet potato and i have to add it to our glutinous flour oh, and no. this will help our balls not to pop up when you fry it so it's too dry so i have to put more water then give it a mix i hope i have a transparent bowl so you can see it what's happening inside so let's continue with our dough preparation and now it's almost done so it's like difficult already to mix with a small ladle so i have to use my hand don't worry guys because i wash my hand thoroughly and it's clean and without germs already so let's do it we're almost there and i'm excited to eat it already i know you're there at home you're excited to make it too and your kids were excited to see it this food because it's really young. This is the consistency that we are looking for the dough. And I'll see you. So we are ready with our balls for today. So we are ready to assemble our sesame balls and we have here the dough and we have the sweet potato, we must it already. And guys, don't forget to have the oil the moment you assemble it because this is the technique why your dough and everything will not stick to your hand, will not stick to your measuring materials. So for the dough, I'll be using this small measuring materials is one fourth cup. So it's up to you if what size you want it to make. So for me, I have to use this one fourth cup. And then for the filling, I'll be using this one teaspoon and it's both oiled already guys. So don't worry, it will not stick anymore then. We need to oil also our hands. So. So 
we are done coating our walls with the sesame seeds guys and take a closer look with how beautiful it is so it's now ready to the pan for frying so we are ready to fry and we have to look at the hardness of our oil it oh, is already no. in our desired temperature so it's good already so it's necessary guys when you have, before you had to start you have to adjust the heat to low to medium temperature 